Hi, welcome. Today we are going to study experimental arrangements for Mosbier spectroscopy. So, in principle of Mosbier spectroscopy, we have seen that the elements formed by the radioactive decay of an isotope of the same or a different element are initially produced in an excited nuclear state. After a very short time, that excited nucleus reverts to the ground state and emits energy of a very high frequency. We have called them as a gamma ray radiation. So it is the study of this gamma ray emission and subsequent reabsorption which is called Mosbier or gamma ray spectroscopy. Now uh, today uh, we are going to study experimental arrangements for Mosbier spectroscopy. There are two experimental arrangements. First one is the a screw thread drive for the cobalt 57 source. So uh, see in the diagram, this is a cobalt source, this is a sample and this is a Geiger counter and this is a screw thread. So here a piece of cobalt 57 is mounted on a screw thread. Rotation of this screw thread here uh, that is shown rotation. The rotation of a screw thread gives a steady velocity drive to the cobalt 57 source. Now a Geiger counter mounted behind the sample. Here sample and behind that sample there is a Geiger counter. So that counter will show a sudden fall in the count rate when the sample starts to absorb the gamma rays emitted by the source. So this source will emit gamma ray and when that sample starts to absorb that gamma rays, a sudden fall in the count rate is observed by a Geiger counter. A complete spectrum will have to be examined point by point since for any one source velocity the Doppler shift is constant. For any one source velocity the Doppler shift is constant because uh, this source is moving it has different velocity and uh, for one of that velocity the Doppler shift is constant. So because of that different velocities one need to set up perhaps a hundred different relative velocities until to get a Doppler shift constant. Okay, So this is about a screw thread drive for the cobalt 57 source. And this is I have written which I have mentioned now. Now uh, second experimental arrangement is an oscillating drive for the cobalt 57 source. Again see in the diagram there is a cobalt 57 source. This is a sample and this is a Geiger counter. Now this is a much more convenient arrangement than the screw thread drive. Here the source metal is mounted on a loudspeaker coil. This is a loudspeaker coil and that source is mounted on that coil. An alternating current of a few cycles per second is applied to the coil. Now due to this source oscillates back and forth. When we give alternating current to it due to this a source oscillates back and forth at the extremes of its motion. So when it comes back and goes forth, comes back and goes forth, there are two extremes. At that extremes of its motion, it will have zero velocity relative to the sample. Whereas at the center, when it goes back and forth, there is a center also. So at that center, it will have maximum velocity either towards or away from the sample. Now the Geiger output is given to the multi-channel computer. In computer, the results from each point of the source movement. So when it goes back and comes to the fourth, come to the fourth, there are various points. The results from each point of the source movement are collected and summed over each cycle. So finally, we have to do summation of that all uh, results. 
so in computer the results from each point of the source movement are collected and summed over each cycle a time of several minutes to a few hours is usually sufficient to record a good spectrum so if we want a good spectrum we require a time of several minutes to a few hours so uh, only then we can get a good spectrum so in next slides i have written which i have mentioned now so these two are the experimental arrangements for the mass bar spectroscopy and the reference used for this is fundamentals of molecular spectroscopy fourth edition by banwell and mccash published by tata macro hill thank you